Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Crystal from Rosie's Closet and today I have for you a simple, quick, easy recipe that you can do in your Instant Pot and it is a rotisserie style chicken. You can do it as a whole chicken, you can do it as pieces, you can do it as um, you know, just your favorite, either the breast or the leg, thigh, whatever you like. So um, let's get into it. It's super quick, super easy, and you're gonna love it. This is my Instant Pot. It is a Crock-Pot brand um, pressure cooker. And um, the first thing that we wanna do is get it turned on and heating in the um, brownie or saute mode. Um, so I have it already plugged in and then I'm gonna push um, brown or saute. And then I'm gonna push start. And I'm gonna get that heating up while I prepare all the rest of my ingredients. Okay, so here are all the ingredients that we're going to use. So we need um, one and a half teaspoons of salt. We need uh, one teaspoon of garlic powder. We need one teaspoon of paprika. We need um, one and a half teaspoons of lemon pepper and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then we're going to use uh, one and three quarters tablespoon of um, vegetable oil, or you can use any other oil that you might like, maybe coconut oil or avocado oil, something like that. And then also one cup of, um, one cup of chicken stock. So I've already mixed up all of the spices here in my bowl, and then I'm going to add some oil to it. I need like one and three quarters tablespoons of oil. I'm just gonna mix that around, make kind of like um, a paste with the oil and our spices. Okay, that's it, just like that. So you can do this with a whole chicken, but today I'm going to be using, um, this is the breast with the, um, the bone still in. You see that there. Anytime I'm working with chicken, I always wear gloves. And then all you wanna do is take some of the um, oil mixture, oil and spices mixture that you made, and you want to rub it all over your chicken. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of this and I'm going to massage it into my chicken. Just like that. And my glove is coming off. Okay, so then after I do that, I'm going to put this straight into the Instant Pot that's already heating up so that it can brown on this side. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing with this guy. Get it all covered with this spice mixture. Okay, and then we're gonna put it into the Instant Pot. Just like that. All right, so all we wanna do is really get it brown um, on one side. Let's see. So once it starts browning up, then we're gonna flip it over. Let's see how it's browning nicely over there on that one side. So then you just want to turn it over. Okay, and let it brown just for a couple minutes on the other side. Now you can put as many pieces as you want in here as long as it's not too crowded because you have to be able to allow the steam. Um, but you can do this with a whole chicken as well and it will fit in there. I've done it before and it works out beautifully 
and the time, the amount of time that it needs to cook is the same as if we do it with just a few pieces like this. Okay, so after we've let it brown for a little bit on both sides, I'm going to take them out and transfer them just onto a plate for a minute. These are huge pieces. And then I've got one more here, one more piece here that I'm going to brown up. So if you don't have the browning or the sauteing setting on your Instant Pot or your pressure cooker, you can always do this part on the stove if you like and then add it to your pressure cooker. Oh, this is heavy. Couple more minutes. All right, so after you've got all your pieces browned up, then you wanna turn off your saute feature, your saute function. Let's see if this will fit on this plate here. All right, so you wanna turn this function off. All right, and then, so my pressure cooker came with this, um, this tray or this trivet. Uh, you can use whatever your yours came with, or you don't have to use this at all. You can cook the chicken right in the stock if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this tray. So I'm gonna put it there on the bottom. There's no need to clean it out. And then I'm going to add the, I have one cup of chicken stock. I'm just gonna add that right there to the bottom. Okay, after I put the chicken stock in, I'm going to add the chicken back to the pot. Okay, and I'm letting it sit on top of the trivet so that it's not inside of the, the juice or the chicken stock. That's our third piece there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it. lock it in place and also I'm going to make sure that my little what is all over this make sure my little steamer is in the locking position so no steam can come out while it's cooking okay and then I'm going to go ahead I'm going to put it on poultry right here and I'm going to put it for 25 minutes and start it okay and then we'll come back when it's all done after it's cooked for 25 minutes let it naturally depressurize for about 10 minutes and then you can open it up all right so the chicken is all finished cooking and it has been uh, naturally releasing now for a little over 10 minutes um, so 12 minutes and so i'm going to go ahead and release the steam from the top Make sure you do it either with a towel or um, like a kitchen utensil because the steam is really hot and it can burn you if there's still anything that's gonna come out of it. So there's just a little bit. So as soon as all that steam is done releasing, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Look at that, yum. Okay, so I pulled all the chicken out of the Instant Pot or the pressure cooker, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now. The skin is the yummy part. If you wanna crisp it up a little bit, just throw it under the broiler, but you'll be able to see that it is. Okay, so you guys can see these are huge chicken breasts, and look, it's done cooked all the way through. It's still really soft and moist. 
This is definitely a recipe you guys are gonna wanna try. If you wanna be able to shred this, then cook it just a little bit longer and then it should fall right off the bone and you'll be able to, sh to shred it up nice and easy. All right guys, so I hope that you enjoyed the uh, rotisserie style chicken in your Instant Pot. Uh, if you try out this uh, recipe, please let me know in the comments down below. Or if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. I try to get to every comment if I can. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and also the little bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget a thumbs up on the way out. Love you guys. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.